Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 5th of February to the 9th of February 2018. As always, what we're going to do is starting with the US dollar index and oil, we're going to run through a number of markets looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. And we're also going to be highlighting some targets that we're going to be looking for in the coming week and also weeks ahead. So just before we begin, I would just like to say a massive thank you to all of you who voted for us in the Forex Best Awards by FX Street. We will, of course, keep you up to date with the results as they come out. But I just want to let you all know that those of you who took the time out to do that, I really, really appreciate that. And we really appreciate that. So thank you. And of course, regardless of the results, I am very honored to be shortlisted for the annual award ceremony of such a big and well-known website. So thanks again, guys. So with that said, let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index now, the US dollar index is still in a downtrend, as you can see, pushing to the downside. Now, last week we had, similar to this week over here, very, very low volatility week. It was very corrective. Uh, and as a result, very, very difficult trading conditions when you have a week like this. And in fact, something we discussed with our clients in the live rooms is that when you have a week like this very often where the markets don't move, it's very, very difficult to make money. And this is the kind of week usually which causes especially newer traders to the markets to change their strategy to try and change up what they're doing because they go into the markets and they find it doesn't work but rather than understanding that it didn't work because the markets haven't moved they start to blame the, the strategy and then they change it and they, they fail to be consistent so we highlight this to our clients and i want to share this with you guys as well because if you're using your methodology whatever that methodology may be you need to keep consistent with it through the different market conditions, okay? So you can see we are still looking for a potential move to the downside in the US dollar index. However, we may be on after we had some pretty good non-farm payroll data last week, you can see at the end of the week, we may be on for a deeper correction back first. If we get a pullback somewhere between this area here, I mean, preferably if we can get a retest of broken support turning resistance, this would be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And if we get those, we're going to be looking at taking shorts down towards the first target as identified the next key area of support to the downside of the 88.46, which came very close to last week, but we continued to push to the upside. And if we can get a breakthrough here, we're going to be looking down towards the next key area of support to the downside in target two at 87.69. Now, just bear in mind, we don't necessarily have to have a pullback all the way up to this area, guys. We might end up coming back, say, to the 89.60. So anywhere in this area, if we start to see a reversal, we're going to be looking to go short. However, if we can get a pullback and a retest of previous support turning resistance, this would be the preference. This would be the best place we could start to look to go short in the US dollar index, continuing the overall downtrend. Okay, so we go into next week with a fairly neutral bias on the US dollar index, mainly because we are looking to the downside, but we may end up with a move to the upside first and what this means is without any real clear direction next week we're going to be looking at trading the currency pairs on their own basis on their own merit next we have oil now last week we were forming this kind of a bull flag and we were looking for a pullback and a retest of broken resistance turning support and we tested it quite deeply here and in fact when we broke through here, it did at one point look like we could have a pullback and a test as resistance and a continuation down. But what actually happened was we broke down through support and we pulled back up and we failed to hold as resistance. So this was really more of a deeper test than a failure of this support. It was a very, very deep test. And in fact, we broke back up. We pulled back and we started to get at the end of the week the kind of price action we were looking for, which is a retest of broken resistance turning to support. Now, very simply put, going into next week, this is a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns in oil. If we start to get those bullish formations and patterns from where we sit now, we're going to be looking at taking longs up towards the next key area of resistance, to the upside and the target at 68.63. So the first pair we're going to look at is euro dollar. Now, last week we were sitting in this area when we started the week and you can see we made our way up and we tagged the first target set from last week, this key area of resistance up here and target one at 1 1.25026. And we started to sell off from here off the back of good non-farm payrolls data last week. Now, if we're going to, in the US dollar index, get a continued correction like this, 
we should be seeing a further decline in the euro dollar. And as we start the week below this key area of resistance, we're going to be looking for a pullback somewhere down into this area between the one, two, three, five hundred and this key area of support down here. Again, a really great place would be the preference would be if we can get a broken resistance over here turning support. Any pullback into this area is going to provide a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking first of all back up to the top here, which at this point could be considered somewhat of a range. But ultimately, if we get a breakout through here and through the first key area of resistance, 1.25026, we're going to be looking for a continuation up towards the next key area of resistance, the upside, the 1.26060. Now, of course, if we go into next week and we just start to break above this key area of resistance, we will just be looking for a pullback test of broken resistance turning support. and We'll be looking up towards target two in the next key area of resistance to the upside. Next, we have pound dollar. Now, similar to the euro dollar, if we're going to get a correction, a continued correction in the US dollar index, we would be looking for further declines at least at the start of the week. If we can get a pullback and a retest of broken Resistance over here, you can see came over, failed as resistance, okay, broke through, tested as support. If we can get a secondary test of support and a pullback down into this area somewhere, this is going to provide a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And if we get those patterns in this area, we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the target and the first target at the top here at the 1.4337, which is the next key area resistance to the upside. And if we get a breakthrough here, we're going to be looking up towards the second target and the next key area resistance to the upside at the 1.4395. Next, we have the US dollar Japanese yen. Now, the US dollar Japanese yen did correct into previous broken support, turning resistance at the 110.271, which is what we were looking for last week. Now we've traded into this and we start the week below this key area of resistance. We are going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns in the US dollar Japanese yen. And if we get those bearish formations and patterns, we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the target and the next key area of support to the downside, the 108.146. And if we can get a break through here down towards the second target, the next key area of support to the downside at the 107.391. Now, if we do start to get a correction, we see some US dollar strength coming into next week. This resistance area may fail to hold. But as I said many times here, and also we say to our clients, we are not in the business of trying to predict the future. We read the charts as they are in front of us. So we read the present. We don't try and predict the future because reading the present is possible. Predicting the future is impossible. So as long as we start the week and we stay below this key area of resistance, we'll be looking to the downside. And of course, if we do get a break up above here and we get some strength coming into the US dollar Japanese yen, we'll simply be looking to reverse our positions and trade in the other way, looking up towards the next key area of resistance to the upside. So just a reminder that these can be traded both ways during the week as more information comes out and the charts develop. Next, we have the Aussie dollar. Now, the Aussie dollar is a little bit of a clearer setup than we have currently in the pound dollar and the euro dollar, which are kind of ranging at the moment. We're kind of looking for a pullback first. In the Aussie dollar, we have broken through the key area of support at 0 0.79551. So very simply put, next week, we're looking for a pullback and a retest of broken support turning resistance. And if we get a retest of this broken support turning resistance in this area, we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking to initiate shorts down towards the next key area of support to the downside in target one at the 0 0.78751. And ultimately, we're going to be looking for a break through this key area of support down towards the next key area of support and target two at the 0 0.78282. Next, we have New Zealand dollar. Now, last week we broke down below the key area of support at the 0 0.73323. And very simply put, we're going to go into this week below this key area of support. So we're going to be looking for this to pull back and test key area of broken support as resistance. And if we get a test of resistance, we get this kind of price action. This is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at taking shorts down towards the next key area of support to the downside, which, as you can see, is quite a way down here and target one at the 0.71879. Next, we have US dollar franc. Now, the US dollar franc did trade into the first target we had set from last week and next key area of support to the downside at 0 0.92698. And we started to get a bounce here from non-farm payroll. So going into this week, it's very simple. We're going to be looking for a pullback and a retest of broken support over here 
as resistance. And if we get this kind of price action, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to look at taking shorts back down towards the next key area of support to the downside in the first target at 0 0.92698. With a view to breaking through this key area of support and coming down towards the next target at some point, the next key area of support to the downside at the 0 0.91641. Now, of course, on failing to get a pullback next week, if we just get more continued US dollar weakness, we will just simply wait for a breakout below the key area of support and we'll be looking for a retest continuing the same pattern, looking for bearish formations and patterns to initiate shorts down towards target two. Next, we have US dollar CAD. Now, last week we were looking for a pullback and a retest of broken support turning resistance. And we were looking down towards the next key area of supports and downside at the 1.22394. Now, as you can see, we just came up short here and we actually reversed back through this key area of resistance. So going into this week, we are very simply looking for now failed resistance to act as support. And if we start to get a pullback and a retest of broken resistance turning support in this area, we're going to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at taking longs up towards the next key area of resistance to the upside and target one at the 1.25300. Now, just something to think about when you have setups like these, if you're looking for a retest of broken support to turn resistance and you get an opportunity like this, OK, and you come down this close to the target with a News events such as non-farm payrolls, which is a big news event, you have to ask yourself the question, guys, is it worth staying in this trade for the target on the news event? Or is it better to come out a little bit early, OK, and take the risk off the table for the news event? So I'll leave that up to you guys. Just something for you to consider. Uh, just to give you an idea for us in the room, the answer was no, it's not worth the risk. It's not worth risking all of this for this. And so profits were taken in this area. So just something to get you guys thinking about risk management around news events. Hopefully that helps you a bit. And finally, we have gold. Now, last week we were looking for a pullback, weren't we? And a test of broken resistance over here turning support. And we're looking for a secondary test over here. And we actually broke through and we failed to hold a support. And what happened? We came back and tested as resistance. We started to sell off to the downside. Approaching the first target down here in the next key area support to the downside at the 1325.89. Now going into this week, as we start the week below the key area resistance, you see the target hasn't quite been reached yet. What we would like to see before this target is reached is a pullback and a correction. And if we get a pullback, possibly even another retest of broken support turning resistance in this area, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns down towards the first target, which I say has not yet been reached, which is next key area of support to the downside at 1325.89. And if we can get a break through this key area of support, we're going to be looking for a second key area of support to the downside in target two at the 1309.42. So that is it for me for this week, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. A big thank you, of course, as always, to those of you who do that on a regular basis. And a big thank you to those of you who are already subscribed to the channel. Once again, please let me just reiterate, thank you very much to all of you who took the time out to vote for us in the FX Street Forex Best Awards. I really, really do appreciate that. So with that said, guys, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I hope you have a really good week next week. Take care and don't forget to trade safely.